At one o'clock, it's eight degrees. I'm Elaine Stenson with the top stories. Cannabis thought to be worth €360,000 has been seized in Dublin. The drugs were found when officers stopped and searched a van in the Kulak area yesterday. A 30-year-old man arrested at the scene is being held at Ballymongartha station. The government has agreed new laws to combat the gender pay gap. Under the plans, companies with more than 50 staff will have to publish the average amount they pay men and women. Figures suggest women earn on average 14% less than men. Business Minister Heather Humphreys has worked on the new laws. The pay is the mean hourly pay and that gives you more accurate information. The number of drug-related deaths in Ireland is almost four times higher than the number of road deaths. 736 deaths linked to drugs were recorded in 2016. That's an increase of more than a third in a decade. The Health Research Board figures show cocaine and heroin are less common in overdose cases. But prescription medications are now involved in more than 70% of deaths. The average household could save a euro a day in their energy bills just by changing supplier. That's the message from a leading price comparison website ahead of the latest round of energy price hikes. Bordgosh Energy is increasing its electricity and gas charges from this Sunday. Prepay Power and Electric Ireland are to follow suit in the coming weeks. Managing Director of Bonkers.ie, David Kerr, says you should look at switching every year. If you signed up a couple of years ago to a discounted tariff, And finally, an episode of The Simpsons featuring Michael Jackson has been pulled following a controversial documentary about the star. Stark Raving Dad, which first aired in 1991, will now be removed from streaming services, reruns and box sets. The Jackson family deny allegations of child abuse made against the singer in Leaving Neverland, which aired on Channel 4 this week. Sport is on the way next. Radio Nova. Sport with Des Kelly Interiors, the wood floor experts who supply and fit your new wood floor from start to finish, hassle free. DesKelly.ie UEFA have released an explanation of the decision to award Man United a late penalty in Wednesday's Champions League game against PSG. The controversial handball verdict allowed Marcus Rashford to hit the back of the net and send the Red Devils through to the quarterfinals on the away goal rule. UEFA insists the ref used VAR to confirm the impact of the ball should have been expected and the defender's arm was not close to his body. Just goal difference separates arch-rivals Shamrock Rovers and Bohemians at the top of the table heading into tonight's SSE Electricity League Premier Division action. Rovers make the short trip to St. Pat's while Bows welcome Derry City to Daly Mount Park. And in rugby, Ronan Nagara believes Ireland will aim to play a high-tempo game against France this weekend. Coach Joe Schmidt is preparing to name his team for Sunday's Six Nations clash with France. Agara thinks Ireland's superior fitness will prove decisive. I actually think they'll try and run France off their feet. And our Six Nations rugby coverage was a thanks to the all-new Honda CRV hybrid, Honda.ie. Dry for the moment, but rain will spread from the west later on. Highest temperatures of up to 10 degrees. And now you're up to date on Radio Nova.